My name is Marilyn Spaventa. I was at the college 26 years. First I came as a faculty member and then I became a dean of educational programs and over those years over a number of different areas and twice as interim executive vice president and an adjunct faculty member as well. A good day for a faculty member was coming in and having that class where everybody was engaged and with it and you just felt like you hit it. And um, as an administrator, um, it was probably working with faculty through the hard times. I would consider that a good day if I could be there when someone was not having a good day and to help bring them through that. Um, it's, it's the energy of the class because you can have the same lesson plan and be the same person and want to do the same thing at your 10 o'clock class and your 2 o'clock class and you can get a totally different reaction. Um, so you have to adjust to the people in the room because that's what makes it all happen. You have to know uh, and you, you figure that out over a number of times of teaching. Um, what is it that's going to spark that group? What is it that is going to fall flat for someone, uh, for another group? And make those adjustments. It's not their job to adjust to you all the time. Um, and the dynamic is different in different people and sometimes you don't know what's sparking someone. You have to have to get to know them a little more. Well, when I was teaching ESL, it was always uh, with my colleagues outside of the department, um, hoping that they would understand who our students were. And also with the students, uh, very often when they were transitioning out of ESL, they would be nervous about being in classes with native speakers. And I would look at them and say, how many of those students do you think could attend college in a second language? You're gonna do it, many of them, most of them couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. And to try to give the students the confidence on not how much more they had to do, but how much they had already accomplished. And then um, as Dean of Math and Science, I had the privilege and the honor of working with our MESA program and our STEM transfer program. These are both programs that, um, <clears throat> that open the door for students who might not see themselves in these very competitive, challenging fields of math and science where we need more women, we need more students who are not typically represented in those fields to bring new ways of looking at science and math and also these opportunities for students who have the capacity. So those are programs I feel, I know have been very, very successful. I've seen where some of the students are. They're now in our community. They're working as engineers. And um, that's something I'm really proud that the college has. I was very involved as a faculty member in a lot of organizations and committees. And I still remember um, we were thinking of leaving her because my husband was in the same field and we had a nepotism policy. So I went to see uh, one of the deans to ask for a letter of recommendation. And he said, oh, I thought you were going to talk to me about applying for the dean position. And I said, are you crazy? I'm a faculty member. And he said, well, think about it. And I happened to be going to a conference for women on women's leadership in community colleges. So I used that question during that conference for myself. Is this something I could do? Is it something I would want to do? And I came back and applied for it. I loved every day. It was the faculty, the students, my colleagues. Um, I got to hire faculty, which is a really interesting process, and to evaluate faculty. 
I have seen the most incredible teachers and at all different levels from a large lecture in anatomy or physiology to a, um, a lower level math class. The students are different. The approach has to be different. And we, I've seen, I'm a better teacher today for what I've seen from my colleagues. And to listen to the students for what works for them, why they are here, um, is, is truly, truly interesting. Now this may sound funny. Um, it's going from being trained as an ESL professional to become the Dean of Math and Science as well. I was the Dean of Math and Science, Languages and ESL. Languages and ESL, I understand. Math and Science, I have no background in. I had to gain the confidence and respect of the faculty and staff in those areas. And I think it was my own cross-cultural training, my experience in living in other cultures that really taught me to look at each area, in this case, each department as a unique culture and to try to figure it out what were their strengths? What were their issues? How could I be the best dean, which is an advocate, a communicator? How could I do that in areas that I didn't have a background in? So I worked hard at that and loved it, loved it, and learned, again, learned so much. Really, really grateful for all the opportunities I had here and to be part of what I think is a really important part of our society. Okay. It's real equity here. We're, we're always striving towards it. Um, and it's more of a challenge um, because we are an open door institution. So how do you give everybody what they've come here for. You're never gonna reach that point. And it's really fascinating to constantly be striving for that. I like that challenge. I would like people to know how very passionate I've always been about the mission of the college. I always tell people who don't know much ab about community colleges, this is really the only institution in the world, a community college, where anybody can come at any time in their life and remake themselves. That is amazing. Um, and not everybody takes advantage of it, but so many do. And when I walk around town, I still see my ESL students. I hadn't taught there for 15 years, but I see them in all different professions around this city. I see our, um, our MESA students and our STEM transfer program students moving on. I see students I saw in our biology or chemistry classes moving on to great careers. Um, I see the emails they write back to their professors. and. Um, I, I always told parents, too, that we don't judge our success by how many students get A's in a class or pass a class. It's after they leave us, were they prepared? And when students go to um, a four-year institution and write back and say, um, I am better prepared than some of my classmates that started here. I know this, this is what has fueled my passion for doing something that makes a difference in the world. I already miss, um, I miss all the people. I miss the energy, the different things that are going on. Um, you know, it was, it was a great ride for me. I feel so fortunate and I thank Jack Friedlander and Peter McDougall at that time for giving me the opportunity to become administrator after being a faculty member. And I think that combination is really important. So um, 
uh, you know, I, I miss all the opportunities that I've had and all the positive energy that's here and all the people. They're just fantastic.